Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. So in our last episode, we had a full stripped down job to do on the plane, and we failed. Uh, but apparently, that mission is a little bit buggy at the moment. Remember, this game is early access, okay? So it's not a complete game, and when you go and look at reviews on Steam... You always seem to get the impression that people forget what early access actually means. It means the game's not finished yet. It's basically been released early for extensive beta testing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to encounter bugs. We're going to encounter issues with it. So that was one of the issues. Apparently that, that mission is a bit bugged. Some people have had it work. Some people have not. It might have been because we left the bits out on the bench over there instead of sort of taking them apart as well. Technically, it didn't take them apart. We probably should have taken them all apart while they were still in the engine. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter all that much. We've got a new one to do right now. When you check the undercarriage, refuel the aircraft. So all we got to do is check and refuel. So first up, we'll do the refuel because it's really quick and easy. Uh, so we come over to here. We are now able to do this a lot faster than we were before. Uh, we put that one on there. We climb up and we take that one off. And then while that's undoing it even, we can go up over here and we can run back up there and put the hose in there. And then I can whiz back over here. Whack that one up. Job done. Like that. Look, 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 look at this. Cooking on gas here now. Take you. Ooh, steady. Come down there. Put that one away. Right. That's done. That's gone. That that one's that one's away. And then go to mode two. Put the fuel tank cap back on. And jump down. And then I can go over there and I can take the ladder and I'm done. That quick. Okay, it's that quick. Since they made the change with the ladder, it makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? Okay, so we need to check the undercarriage. Uh, so I will click down here onto the wheel. I will check the compression leg. I will check the wheel. That's damaged. Wheel cap is fine. That compression leg is damaged. That wheel is fine, apparently. Oop. I'm under the ground. And that wheel cap right there, that one is fine. So we've got a couple bits there that we're going to need to do something with. And can I reach it from here? I don't think I can. So I will right click and I will also go back around here and I will check that down there. Tail skid is damaged as well. Right. We'll change the tail skid first. So I'll pick you up and I'll put you down under there like that. We go to option number one. And we will remove this tail skid, like this. So I will take out all of those bolts. Now, while those are being taken off, I'm going to go over this way, and I'm going to get our maintenance jack, and I'm going to put that one under here, like this. And I'm going to lift that one up as well. So that goes up into the air. Go on. Big circles. There. Perfect. Right. Back round over to here. That tail skid has been taken off. I've got a uh, compression leg over here that needs to come off. That right compression leg needs to come off. You and you down there. And then that... No, it wasn't. Have I got that the wrong way round? No, I don't. I've got that the right way round. Okay, ideal. Uh, I'm over to here. And I want that wheel. Right. Take you off. So the, the wheel is fine on that side. It's that compression... Uh, no, the, the compression egg on that side. And this wheel right here has got to come off. And you're done. Right. Oh, you. I don't even need to go over to the bench. I can just look in inventory in here. I uh, Damage, damage, damage. But they're not repairable. So I need a tail skid, a compression leg, and a wheel. So we have to go into here... Uh, yes, yes, and yes in there. There. Right. Perfect. Back over to here, and then we go to option two, like this, to put things, ass assemble things back together. So I'll put you back on like that, and then the wheel cap can go back on, and just move the mouse around like that. 
There, uh, right click out, and then I can put that one back up. There. Right compression leg. It doesn't always mouse over it quite right, but it, it's fine. And come out of there like that, and we'll run down to this side down here. And I'll put that tail skid back on. There. So while that one is busy doing up, task complete, check the undercarriage. I will then uh, take this one down. Oop. Big mouse circles in the right direction. I love this thing. I really do. I think this is absolutely brilliant, the way they've got this working. Uh, well, I would if I could escape. Let me go! The plane won't let me escape. Right, put that one down over there, and then back over this way, pick up the jack. There. Go down over there, and task complete. Right, that's everything that we need to do. So I can say sign here. There, we had 478. 488, final result, perfect job, plus 30 points. That has taken us up above uh, Aircraftman second class. We're now Aircraftman first class. Look at this, Aircraftman first class, Frithgar, merit points. We got three skill points. Eagle Eye, good perception combined with detailed knowledge of the aircraft systems allows you to spot faults twice as fast as other mechanics. Um, that opens up those. Early start, you convince the pilot to fill out report faster as others who have five more minutes to work on the aircraft. Oh, that would be in timed missions, I'm guessing. That'll be a good one. Specialist knowledge about individual parts, the on-site repairs will be easier. That would slow down that one, I'm guessing. Uh, the assistant allows you to automatically remove two screws at a time. Do I want to check things faster, or do I want to... No, two screws at a time. That's that's what we're going to do to start with. So that's that's a good start. So we're aircraft in first class now, rather than second class. We are now aircraft in first class. So we, we, we obviously still want to... Um, work with, we're still working on the Tiger Moth. I want a new plane. It's time you're required to fix the... To do this, click a hole when in disassembly mode. Right, tips. How do I get the other tip? While well, practicing navigation over the sea, we've run into a lone German fighter, probably a scout. Luckily, our hurricanes chased him off, but he managed to hit us a few times. Patch bullet holes refuel the aircraft. Now, that's great and all, but it says tips there. I don't know how to get to the other tips, right? Let's try F1. Does that show me? Toggle zoom. No. Tips. Click on a hole when in disassembly mode. Right. We gotta do something when we can do that. We we can do that. Okay. Uh so we're working on the tiger moth again. We gotta refuel it. And then we've got holes that we need to repair on the aircraft. So there. Bullet hole bend outwards. Now you just need to apply the patch. Switch to install mode and click on the patch ghost. Okay, so switch to number two. There. In aircraft with metal skin, you'll also need to rivet the patch in place. In this case, however, patches are glued to the fabric, so no rivets are required. Okay. Right, so I've done that bit. I've got... There. Um, disassemble mode, so cut around the outside of it. Then we go to assembly mode... And we put the patch on like that, and that's all i got to do. So I don't need to do anything else to that one. Uh, have we got any more bullet holes? I'm guessing we must... Uh, there we go, there's another bullet hole up there. So I want to be in number one. I cut around the piece first, then number two, and we can put the patch on. And that's patched. Right. Eventually... We will get another aeroplane that we can do something with. At the moment, all we're doing is this one right here. And I would... 
not like to climb the ladder. I would like to be able to do some stuff with some different planes. I think that would be quite awesome if we could do some stuff with different planes. But patching bullet holes is certainly a new thing that we've not yet done before. So we've got that to be grateful for. Uh, number one, to remove the fuel tank cap. And then over here, grab you, climb up. Put you on there, down here, and go on. There you go. Fill that one up. Perfect. Up. Grab you. All primary tasks completed. I can't go driving off anywhere just yet because we still haven't done that. But now we can. Driving off, flying. Uh, they, they, they fly. Planes fly, not drive. Uh, right, no, that's done. Patch the bullet holes, refuel the aircraft. There we go. Leading aircraftman, I've got to get another 500 points. So we've done well on there. We are now up to 558 points. Continue our career as an aircraftman first class. I like being first class. Aircraftman first class. It has a certain ring about it. I honestly didn't think that me as a as, as Mr. Frithgar would ever be able to do this. Right. A student crashed a plane on his first solo. A new aircraft has just arrived, but it spent a lot of time just standing outside. So it's in a really bad shape. Make sure everything works as it should before we send it to the paint shop. Inspect the whole aircraft. Refill the oil. Refuel the aircraft. How do I know if I've inspected the whole aircraft? Have I got to strip down and do the engine? How to refuel. Uh, let's go to inspect mode. Right, you can't inspect the skin, but you can inspect like the wheels and, and stuff like that. So this is where I'm going to regret not having the inspect thing before. So that one's damaged. That's damaged. That's damaged as well. Why can't I zoom out? I can zoom in. It doesn't want me to zoom out from there. Uh, right click. Pull out from that. Go into there. Alright, that one's fine. Yeah, the big question is, do I need to do a complete strip down or not? Tail skid. That one's fine. Good. It makes life a lot easier for us. Uh, front windshield right there is fine. That one up there is also fine. We've got a fuel tank cap up there. That's fine. There's nothing in there that we've got to inspect anywhere, I don't think. Um, of course, the big question is, how much of the internals? Do I need to go and, like, inspect the entire engine? This is, this is the big thing I'm curious about. So, uh, let's lift you up a minute. And I'll lift you up as well. There. Now, we'll do an inspection of the covers. Propeller. Exhaust. Bottom engine cowling. Induction pipe. Arboretta. Intakes. Timing gears. Pressure filter. I'm just, I'm literally just pressing and holding the button at the moment, and I'm going round. Um, I've just got the, the mouse button is pressed and held, and I'm going round checking everything like this. Filters. Right, oh, oil tank cap. Now, I could probably check a lot of that without having to do anything else. Um, cylinder barrel. There. We could get several more bits of this in here, but how much of it have I got to actually check? Like the spark plugs as well. That's, that's, that's another bit. Uh, engine cover. Plug. Cylinder head. We all know that I'm not very good at most of this. It's all looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, that's, that's looking fine. It's a... Do I need to strip the whole engine apart? There are bits in the engine there that I've got to take out. Right, I've already found bits that I, 
well, I've got to, the fuel filter has got to come out. What about you? And also, the, the main engine as well. Spinner is fine. Uh, right, well, let's go to option number one and we start taking some things apart, shall we? So we'll take you off of there and we'll take you off of there. We'll go down to the bottom engine cowling down here and remove that one. And then I'll go up here. Right. Takes off. Oh, yeah, it takes off two bolts at a time, which is considerably faster. So we've got the spinner up there. Uh, nope. Spinner back plate. Yeah, look at, look at that. Two at a time. Ha, ha, ha. That's much better. Have that one off. Air screw hub. Take that one out. I haven't checked these, but we will check them. I think that in order to do a full engine check, we are going to need to strip this engine down completely. Um, I can't see that we, we can't do it by stripping it. You know, because we'll, you got that. It said check it. Check everything. So do I need to actually do the check or just need to strip the whole... I'm, I think... See, I'm not sure. I don't need to do the back of it. I don't need to take the back of it apart. So let's, let's first do this bit down here. I get that one up and I'll lift those pieces up. There. Have that one up into the air like that. And then we go to option number one. And I'll start taking these off. So I want to take off that wheel hub right there. And uh, the right compression leg as well. There. Uh, oops. Take you off. And then we'll go over to... Oh, I want to come over this side. Wheel. That one there, and take off that compression leg. Did that wrong again. And take that one off. Okay, so I've taken off those bits down there. We can easily replace the bits that are damaged, and then we can come back to it in a minute. So this up here, I am going to strip the whole engine apart. I'm not going to try and take those apart as they were previously. I'm going to go to option three now. I'm just going to go around here and I'm going to check everything here on the outside first. Uh, I need to check that camshaft cap on there. I mustn't forget that one. Uh, there's a magneto in there. That one's fine. So I suspect that the internals of the engine are also in pristine condition. But I'll go here and I'll take that one off. All right. Inspect the whole aircraft. Oops, no, right click. Okay. So we've done that much. So do I need to strip everything down? This is the bit that I'm concerned about, is whether I do need to or not. Uh, inventory, damaged fuel filter, but I can try to repair the fuel filter now. This should be easier to repair now. Uh, so we can go to fuel filter right there. I click on that one. Oh, that's much easier. That is much easier now. Look at it. Uh, we've got a dot down there. Yes. Oh, that's the way to do it. Yes. There's one more somewhere. There. <laughs> I did it. I got all four. All four parts done on there. Right, and then I'll go into here so I can replace the landing gear straight away. Yeah? Right compression leg, uh, left, and the uh, wheel. There. Take those. And then we'll come back over to here and we'll put these back on like this. So I can put you on there. And I can put you on there as well. Zoom out a little bit like that. Put you on down there. Right. It's that bit. And then it's because I need to be over here. Look, come on. There, wheel. Right. 
Put that wheel on there. And then we'll put the wheel cap on like that. And then we'll put that one on up there. Oop. Steady. There and there. Right. So that's those three bits. That That's those bits done there. So I can now let that down. I inspected the back of it. Pick up the jack and move it out over there. And I'm going to put that fuel filter back on. The, the, the replacement one. Just to see if it comes up with... No, it hasn't. It hasn't clonked to say job complete. Which means that we haven't, com we haven't done it. So we are going to have to strip the whole thing apart. Camshaft. Crankcase assembly on the front. There. It's much faster. So, so much better, isn't it? Right. Uh, this, this is where we're going to be really grateful for this. Right. We're taking this beastie off here. Doing two at a time on here. Look. Look how quick that's going through. That's much better. And then I can follow that up through like that. There. And those. And then chase them down this way. Constantly undoing two. So I'm guessing that there's another one. We probably should have done another one. I mean, the, the faster inspection probably would have been useful as well. Right? That would have made a difference. But this is already making a huge difference to how we do everything. So the oil filter there, I'll take those two off. Um, the magneto right there, I'll take that off as well. So that's ready to come off. Um, the, uh, not the, the oil filter. Yeah, the oil filter and the magneto. That's going to come off. Those come off. The pressure filter there. I got the magneto. Oh, I got to remove that fuel filter again to get the magneto off. And then you. That one can come out. Uh, so now I will go down to that one. All of them. All of these. Like that. Uh, carburetor up there. And while that's coming apart, I can start working on the camshaft bearing as well. Oh, wait. No. Don't take that off. i got to ins I got to inspect it all. That's... That's... Wait. Inspect. Ah, that's what I want to do. Right, so there. I can now go through and start inspecting. Inspect the piston, the piston rod, um, the bearings. Do I have to actually strip it apart? So you've got the camshaft in there. Was there anything else? Hang on. No, somebody said there was something else in here. <gasps> Push rods! Oh, no, those came out with the other bit. No, that they, they, they were they were something that came out previously. I think I already checked them all beforehand. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I, I, at this point in time, I really don't know. Right, we've got a load of bearings up there. It's still not given me that the job is complete or anything like that. I'm hoping that this is the right thing to do, though. When I go down through and take all of these off, like that, there, there's all of them off, uh, piston rods now, oh, right, yeah, so in order to take the piston rods off, I want to take all of these off, I want to take that induction pipe off there, out a little bit there we go right uh, all the way down through them and all the way back up through those now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these apart like this right I'm gonna do all of these one at a time down through so we're gonna go with the rocker mechanism in here like that and I'm going to work on all of these upside down. Rather than trying to take them all apart from and, and taking the sections away, I'm going to do it from here this time. And I'm hoping that this is the right thing. So I'll take those out there. Uh, I actually need to 
remove that one and take that one out. Ignition wires, take those off. Down here, ignition wires, like that. And then... Take these as spark plugs off, like that. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck. That's because I'm over here. Right. Uh, let's try that again. Down onto here. Zoom out a little bit. Let's, let's put the sun behind us. It's a lot easier doing it like this. Uh, cylinder head on there. And then I've got that one... Yeah, rocker cover there. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to do these bits. You've you got to... Oh, and then I've got to... To be able to take that one off, I've got to remove the head gasket first. Like that. Then a cylinder barrel. Then we got the piston up there. With the piston rings. Which I will... I'll do that in a minute. We'll, we'll go up there and we'll do all of those in a minute. So I've got the cylinder head, uh, the bracket... Then, rocker mechanism. It's, it's not easy doing all of these upside down, but I'm hoping that this will give me the full inspection job. Because I, I can't think there's anything else that we need to ex I I I I expect, in inspect on it. Um, right, go on to... Uh, nope, spark plug on there. Take that spark plug off. Right, now over to you. Undo them. Uh, take off that cover. That'll make life a little bit easier for us. There we go. And then I've got these two left. So I've got the rocker cover down here that I want to remove. Uh, that's one. And I'll do the other rocker cover right there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's moving back into these, like, swapping between the two. You've got to, like, double-click to be able to move between the two. Uh, Double-right-click and then move on to there and then go into there. And then into that one and take that one off. And then onto there. Valve. Cylinder head. Uh, Double-right-click. Valve, valve, cylinder head. Undo them. Right, next up. Gasket, cylinder barrel. Oops. i got a couple more of these still to go. So I want to come into there. And head gasket, cylinder barrel. And then i got the same over here. I've got head gasket and cylinder barrel to remove. Then we go piston rings like that, piston there, piston rods, that's the ones up the top. That one goes up there like that. We'll do that bit in a minute. We'll take those off there and the pistons down here. And then I'll go over to this one. Right, no, I won't. I'll do it like this because... Now I can zoom in again, and then I can see these piston rings. That one and that one, and then that one, that one can come off. And then do the same up here. That one, that one can come off. And then we can go up here, piston rods. Remove those, piston rods. Take those off. See, that one will come off like that. That one will pop up like that. Oh, I got one more over here. You can come out. They should all come apart absolutely perfectly without any issues whatsoever. So there's the crankshaft come off. Then we go there into the camshaft and remove that one, the, 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 um, the camshaft cover. Camshaft there will all come out. And this is the bit. Push rods. That's the bit that I seen on the um, forum. It was the push rods. This is why I didn't get it last time. And I suspect there may be one or two of you 
who watch this that will have known about that in the first place. You will have known that there were push rods in here that I missed. That's the bit that I didn't get. And that is most likely why it didn't pass. So, yes, it can be a bit buggy, but those push rods are most likely the reason that we didn't actually get a complete job last time round for fully inspecting the entire unit. Is there anything else on here that we have not inspected? I think that is everything now. So I'll come out of there like that. And uh, I'll go into number three. That's fine. Okay, so you look up through here. That was the push rods in there. That was the difficult bit. They were very easy to miss. A lot of people apparently did miss them. So we, we, we were not alone in missing those push rods. So don't feel bad about it if you also missed it the same as me. Those of you who know how an engine works probably are having a big long chuckle at my expense now. We already checked that cap. I think I've checked everything now that we can check. So, uh, pristine and fine, all of those. Let's go to the next bit. There, one rocker mechanism is damaged. Can't repair it. A head gasket is damaged. I can't repair it. A piston ring is damaged. I can't repair it. So, it's those three items that I need to go and get from in here. There, I've got a rocker mechanism. I've got a head gasket and I've got a piston ring. Sign here to confirm. There we go. And we can come back over here. We go to option number two. And we can start putting this bad boy back together. Uh, so first up, let's go to the crankshaft up there. I'm also going to make sure I put in the push rods. These bits here. These bits that were our undoing last time round. There's a push rod. Uh, there's one and there's one look at that and then the camshaft can go back in don't forget to put the camshaft cover back on like that um we've got the camshaft bearings to go back on like that i'll work my way down through so we can do the piston rods at the same time Put those on there, and then that camshaft bearing can go back on, and the piston rod there can go, like that, and then you. Okay, this this is, we're actually quite, I'm, I'm getting quite efficient with doing this all the way down through. Uh, being an aircraftman first class, you'd expect me to get a little bit better at doing this work. You know, but being first class and all, not, not a second class aircraftman anymore. I'm now, I'm now first class, not second. All right, I, I, just, I just want to point that out. Frithgar is doing well. Okay, let's do all of those up onto there. I am getting really fast at doing these things up as well. Okay, so next I want to come in underneath and I'm going to put these pistons on all the way through like that. And then we'll worry about putting the piston rings on afterwards. Uh, so I'll take you up and I'll put you onto there. Right, next up, piston rings. There, like that. Nope. Go to the next piston. And... Piston ring. Difficult. Make sure you get them right there. But that's what that first one would have been. And as far as I know, if it wasn't... You know, some of them were bugged, but we did also miss a bit in there. And somebody did say, you know, there's a, a very good chance that you missed something in it. Uh, those barrels, they just go up into place like that, don't they? And then... We've got uh, head gaskets. So we'll go back down over to this side. Uh, let me come out of there and go into the engine down here a minute. I want to drop down. Oh, no, I don't want to drop down that far there. So we'll put that head gasket on. We will. That one on there. And then the cylinder head can go on. Like that. And then head gasket, cylinder head. Head gasket, cylinder head on there with four bolts and another one with a cylinder head on there. Right. Next, we want to start putting these spark plugs in. Ah. Yeah, the spark plugs are slow, aren't they? 
Putting the spark plugs in is a slow process. We can't, like, do multiples at once, unfortunately. So we'll just come down through and we'll put these spark plugs back in. There, there's one. And there's another one down there. And then we've got to go around to the other side, get that other one in. Underneath there, I've got three more to go. Like that. And then i got these two over here. It'll be very quick. Put you into that one, and then one over to there. You've got to get them just the right tension, haven't you? Can't over-tighten a spark plug. It's really not good for it. So as we've got all of those in there, we can now go and we can put all of the valves in all the way through like that. There. There we go. Uh, rocker mechanism. Do that up. And there's another one to go into there. This is a lot faster. Definitely a lot faster like this. A lot easier putting these apart. Right, and then I'll go back over there to the rocker um, thing like that. And I'll do the same onto that one. There. And to you. There. And to you over there. Put that on. And then I'll go back onto a rocker cover there. I'll put one onto there. And to you. And that one up there. Right. That's all of those bits back on. The ignition wires. Down through there. I'll put this cover back on while I'm here. Yeah, that's all done down that side. Uh, engine cover. Like that. And uh, right ignition wires. So now we've got the induction pipe to go in on here. This is a little bit more of a time-consuming piece. It should be all right. I can also put the carburetor on there at the same time as they're all doing up. And then we'll go in here. We'll put that magneto in place. Um, I'll, do, I'll do the bit at the top last of all. Uh, fuel filter, that could go back on. I've Task completed. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm very pleased now. I am very pleased. It was those bits inside the engine. The, um, the, the rocker thingies. That's what we missed last time. That was our big error that we missed last time. And I'm so... I, so I, I did go and look that up. I went... I did go and look up to see if it was a bug. And it... So maybe it was a bug, but it's not anymore. Because it was uh, several days ago that that one... That particular one was talked about. So now we've got to see if we can put this thing back together. So I'm just going to do all of those up like that. There. Now, while those are doing up, I'm going to go and get the ladder. No, no, don't climb the ladder. I'm going to go and pick up the ladder. There. i bring this one over, and I'm going to see if I can um, take that one off up there. Yes, that will let me take that one off while the screws are busy undoing. Uh, pick up the hose. Go up the ladder, put you into there, so we can refuel while that's all going on. And no fuel in the engine at all at the moment. That's understandable. There we go. Right, and then we can come back up here and take you. Put you over there so that you go away. Climb the ladder, and there goes our RAF support. Fantastic. Uh, go back to the fuel cap over there. I will hop down and take this one and put it over to there, like that. We've got to put oil in the aircraft as well, haven't we? Um, right, let me go back up to there. So I'll start doing all of those up like that. And, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Um, right click. So next up, I want to grab that one. Can't go any faster than this. This is as fast as we can go. There. And then option one, remove the fuel tank cap. And then I can go over and I can take you. And I can drop you into there. And then I go back over to here and I start using this one. Um, now, some people said that they didn't like the way that you've got to drag the oil over and you've got to do it. I suppose it is a little bit time consuming. Um, the fuel thing, though, that seems pretty good. I, I like that. I like that it's not too quick. Um, well, it, but it's you are able to do it at a reasonable pace. It does seem... It seems all right to me. 
Like, I think this is a, a nice... I, I, I don't mind this mechanic at all. I quite like it. And, uh, you know, pushing this thing around. I mean, yeah, maybe if we could go a little bit faster pushing that one around, it might make a little bit more interesting, I suppose. But uh, generally, I'm quite happy with the way that one works. Uh, right. We will put that on underneath and do that up. And then we will put that one on up there and do that up like that. Um, and then we can come on to the front over here and do these up like that. There's everything on there. Uh, now we can put the front engine cowling on. Like that. And we can put that one on. To you up. To you up. There. Hang on, round the other side. Let's let's get these panels on and, and done. There, and the last thing that we're going to need to do is put that propeller down. Uh, down, put the propeller on. I mean, the last thing that we need to do. Air screw hub goes on, and that one goes in. Then we put the piece over the top of it. Propeller. Put the front piece on the spinner plate. There. See how quick they do us. It's fantastic. Two at, two at a time is definitely much better. Definitely much better having two at once. And I'm done. That's it. I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm, I'm completely done. Task. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> how much do we get for this? Inspect the, air the whole aircraft. I didn't see how many points it gave. Refuel the aircraft. Save spare parts one. That got me some more. Perfect job. Another 30 points. I didn't see how many points the first bit got, but we're up to 608 for overall. Now, are we going to get a new aircraft, or are we still going to be working on the same Tiger Moth? There are more aircraft in there. I think there's three aircraft in this at the moment, or supposed to be. So far, we haven't seen the others. I would like to see a new one. It would be pretty cool if we could see a new one. Um, but that is all we got time for in today's episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Uh, we've got to replace compression legs and refuel the aircraft on the same old Tiger Moth. So that's uh, it's familiar territory. We'll deal with that in our next episode. Um... If you would like to come and have a chat about what you've seen, if you'd like to chat with other like-minded enthusiasts, there are some on the Discord channel who know everything there is to know about how an engine works. I'm not one of those enthusiasts. I don't know everything there is to know, but there are people who actually do. So do consider joining our Discord channel. It is a lot of fun. Um, there is a link in the description down below, as well as links to everything else that you may find pertinent, interesting, and or useful. Uh, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.